Gemini, Sun, Rising, Moon, Venus, and Cross Watchers. I'm Mystic Jen, and this is your reading for the week ahead. This is a general read, and your week can start on any day, today, tomorrow, and the next day, whenever, whenever it resonates. If it doesn't resonate, uh, then check out your other signs. Maybe they will. And also, uh, so just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. This energies are fluent. This could be your energy or somebody else's energy. Male, female could be vice versa as well. Okay, so we're going to dig right in. Messages and guidance overview for Gemini. Okay, Gemini, you got weight. Don't rush into action right now. Bide your time for better results. Ooh, that's deep. Okay, let's see what additional messages and guidance we have. Additional messages and guidance for, tar, uh, for Gemini, Sun, Rising Moon, Venus, and Cross Watchers, please. Okay, we start out with the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, this is putting a lot of hard work into something. This is building a foundation. This is, you know, building something from scratch. Somebody's built something up from scratch. It's their baby. And they, um, it takes a lot of hard work. It's something you cannot rush. Okay, let's see what else comes up here. Okay, we have... The Six of Pentacles, okay, and the Six of Pentacles is generosity. It is whatever effort you put into something is what you're going to get out, okay? And if you take, and I'm seeing the Two of Pentacles here, somebody teetering back and forth between a couple options, maybe even trying to balance their finances, because when we have um, we have eight minus six equals two, so the two of pentacles is may not be on the table right now, but it's here. Okay, this is about restoring balance. Even the six of pentacles talks about balance, being fair. Okay, you know, not just taking or not just giving. Okay, it's an even exchange here. Okay. Somebody's working very hard, and you are going to get your rewards getting what you deserve for the hard work that you put in. But again, it's something that can't be rushed as reference here to the weight card. Okay? This is not something that can be rushed. We have another six here. This is the Six of Cups. Uh, this, is, um, this is nostalgic. This could be children. This could be family. Okay? Remembering good times. Somebody may be stuck in the past or romanticizing the past. See what else comes up here. We have the card of Leo. Um, take it center stage. You could be dealing with a Leo. But this is strength. This is confidence. This is courage. Okay. Sometimes this could be a card of ego also. But I'm feeling like this is, ha this is strength here. This is having courage of letting go of past, maybe I feel like failed efforts and putting energy into something new because you're going to get out of something what you put into it. But there are some things that it's okay to remember the good times, but not to hold on to that too tightly because that can actually hold you back. And this, and this is also showing restraint. There's a need for restraint for something, okay? Not rushing into something. There could, maybe there is somebody returning from the past that's telling you don't rush into anything. Hierophant, having faith, uh, could be dealing with a Taurus. Um, this is also a card of commitment. You know, a past commitment could be coming back around. You put a lot of work into it. You get out what you, maybe you get out of it what you deserve. Maybe you don't. But there could be a cycle of something coming back around from the past. And the universe is saying, wait, don't rush, show some restraint, okay? Um, seek higher counsel, seek divine guidance, okay? A higher authority about this. 
And we have the Queen of Swords here. There's your energy, Gemini. This is about being logical. Okay? This is someone who is trusting her intuition, trusting her knowledge, seeking truth. Okay? This is seeing things with clarity. Not letting your thoughts be muddled by nostalgia or things of the past. And then finally, we have the King of Rods. Okay, and more fire here. This is like Aries energy. This could be Leo energy. We have strong Leo energy here. This could also be something that is developing over time that is going to come into full fruition come Leo season. Okay, under the deck, we have the Empress. Again, this is Taurus energy. This is... Libra energy as well. We have, this could be your energy, Gemini. This could also be Libra energy. The Queen of Swords is about justice and fairness as well. So this is nurturing something. I feel like this is knowing your value, knowing your worth, knowing what you have to bring to the table. Okay, don't undervalue yourself. You're very generous. You're, you're very giving. Maybe you're giving too much to this past situation. And I feel as though you need to be committed to yourself, to your own growth, to your own happiness. The King of Rods is suggesting, you know, this is somebody with a vision. Having your vision, going after your vision. But going after your vision does not mean hanging on and clinging to the past. Okay, um, but I do feel as though that your week starts out with a lot of nostalgia. Thinking about a situation and you put a lot of work in that maybe you didn't get out of it what was rightfully yours or getting out everything that you put into it. Maybe you were, you were the giver, okay, <clears throat> but somebody else may have been taking. And it seems like that this is where your mindset is starting the week off. And the theme is, you know, don't go acting on impulse from this past energy. Show some restraint. The middle of the week brings restraints and having faith in the process. Okay? And being committed to yourself Thinking with a clear mind, okay, maybe cutting things out that aren't serving, you know, cutting off the, whatever this is, whatever it was giving, whether it was emotional support or whether it was monetary, whatever it was, this might be a time that you, about cutting that off, a time of giving to yourself instead of giving to others that don't, are not appreciative, okay? And getting that vision back, getting your ambition back, and going forward with your own passions, your own desires, and I get the energy of being held back by a past situation. Okay, let's see what the Lenormand has for clarifying. The Norman can add another layer to this. Okay, additional messages and guidance. Wow. Yeah, the Norman has stuff to say. Yeah, this is the cross that you've been bearing. I think was, I don't know if it was Aries or Taurus that got this also. The same exact combination. The Eight of Pentacles with the cross. That is a burden. Then we have the key. You know, the, the key to it is knowing when not to give anymore. Knowing your limits. We have the tomb, which is the coffin. 
you know, cutting that tie. Something from the past has ended, and it's finally the... I'm being told it's time to let that die. Mice is taken away. You know, this is an ending that is that takes away from your confidence and your balance and your security, your courage, okay? You know, you're, you're having trouble restraining yourself. It's like you want to indulge in this. Okay, we have the tower card here. Institutions, this is... This might have been a marriage. Arguments, cleaning house, cutting things off. You know, somebody has a sharp tongue. That may be you with a sharp tongue and a stroke of luck. Okay. You know, it's like something, a stroke of luck comes your way. Something positive that brings back your vision and pushes you forward. It's like this break is a stroke of luck to you, actually. Okay. Um, child, it seems like the child cards showed up in three readings in a row. Child is something new. This is a chance and a new start for yourself. You've had this vision, but you've never done anything with it. And now you have a chance and the, the, the window of opportunity. This is fast luck. It doesn't stay here forever. So this is fast luck that you have to strike when the iron is hot. That's what this is. Striking when the iron is hot. And cleaning house and this past energy, getting rid of it so it doesn't hold you back. Taking that sword and cutting it off. This And finally, letting the past die is what I'm hearing here. Letting the past die. This may have been some kind of, this is definitely some kind of institution here with the, um, Hereford and the tower. This could be taken refuge in church, which I doubt. I think this is an institution of marriage. That is what I feel here. And, you know, somebody's put so much work into it, and it's been your cross that you've been bearing. And the answer to this the key to unlocking your potential to getting what is rightfully yours is ending past karma, ending a past connection, it's cutting those ties, taking that sword and cutting those ties. <coughs> Speaking your truth despite those who may not want to hear it or may not like it, but it's your truth. And that is the key to being able to strike when the iron is hot. That is the key that's going to open up the door to this new opportunity, to this stroke of luck. Okay. Okay, let's see what the Moonology cards get a final, final guidance here. Final messages. Oh, okay, you got two of them that want to come out. Okay. We have, don't let your past hold you back. Oh my gosh. And it's time to release negativity. Hello, Gemini. This path is all negativity. It's time to let it go. Time to release it and don't let it hold you back anymore. You've got that vision and you have an opportunity coming. And you got to strike while the iron is hot. You can't have some past negative energy holding you back. Okay, this is the messages that I have for you, Gemini. I do thank you for watching. Again, please do give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, comment, and I will see you next time. Blessed be. Love you all.